Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Yamato. And we are going to have Yeah, I'm going to I'm not going to even say. It. I'm going to literally let you guys hang. This game is ridiculous in lots of ways, but it is ridiculous. And I'll be honest, I've had a rough day in the Yami. Uh, not because uh, I'm not doing things right, because I've been putting up 160, 170,000 damage game, but the teams have been, woo! The kind of teams that make you want to stop playing for the day. You know what I'm talking about? You ever had those? Yeah, I do. I get them. It's it's really, really impressive sometimes to see how, uh, how bad some players are. But, we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about Yamato, a.k.a. Yamato. Just because I like to throw the Yamato in there. Because, you know, people like to get triggered over it. But, it's okay. It's okay. Now, we are starting this off with a very risky play. And that is going full broadside in a Yami right off the bat. Okay, first of all, I am running the concealment mod. Which is why my detection is 13.8 kilometers. So, keep that in mind. It does come in real handy. Especially for the opening turn. So, uh, their Iowa gets spotted, and you can see I'm trying to use the auto-aim here. I can't really see a ship. We take the shot. We put out the, uh, the spotter plane and everything, but you can see this Iowa's no slouch. He's actually turning all the way back out again, and, uh, he manages to not get obliterated right off the bat, even though it could have been juicy. Could have been real juicy. Uh, if that man would have stayed broadside, who knows what would have happened. Yamis are not very good to broadside battleships. Or battle tanking battleship. Yamis versus other battleships generally doesn't end well for the other battleship. <laughs> Let's be real. Yami is disgustingly good. Now, uh, we had some return fire there coming from somebody. It was a three-gun turret, and uh, it was HE. But uh, then we we look over. We've got a Kagero spotted, so we're going to take a shot at the Kagero. Are we going to hit it? He looks good. Damn, we get one hit. One hit. But that's still, a, that's like 1,600 damage off of him, okay? That's that's a big deal. Get get rid of some damage. You never know when that's going to come in handy. But uh, this Yami comes out, and he is, I don't know, he is either not paid attention that I'm coming this direction, or he just thinks that he owns the sea, and we're going to ruin him. We're going to ruin him. First shot out, he's angled in slightly, but it shouldn't matter. Yep, there's a Citadel. And just like that, we're up to 30,000 damage. <laughs> That's the power of the Yami. Don't mess around with Yamato. It will ruin you. Okay? And just to prove a point, we get one more shot over the island before we get behind the island. He actually gets a solid hit on us, but uh, again, you know... We didn't get as much out of that one. That one went a little high. He's coming towards us a little more. I didn't account for that, so it went a little high. Uh, I've been doing a lot better with trying to pay attention to where my shots are going, and because I've noticed a lot of my problems have been my own fault lately. I'm not going to lie. But uh, then we see this Amagi creeping, so we go ahead and take a shot at him before we get behind the island further. And uh, I hope we get a good shot. It looks juicy. That's that's the kind of dispersion you really look for. And we get four penetrations and one overpin just smashing the guy. Now this next shot, I wouldn't recommend. Because it's slim and none to actually work. And I was kind of hoping that I could squeeze these shells through this little gap in the island. I know that you can. I've done it. And so I thought I was close enough. Unfortunately, I wasn't. And you can see it wasn't a lot. It was actually pretty close to going through that gap. It just went a little high and hit the, the top part. So uh, it was very close. And you can shoot through that keyhole. I've done it plenty of times. But yeah, we were a little bit too far out and managed to screw that one up. But it's okay because our battleship gets himself absolutely smashed by the enemy Yamato. But then the Yamato gives us what can only be described as the best possible shot. And even though dispersion was not kind to us, we still get two citadels and the Turpitz's as torpedoes are gonna find their mark and finish him off. Now, uh, now that the biggest threat to me is gone, there's still a destroyer out there, I get that, but he's nowhere near me, so the biggest threat to me is gone. Everybody else, I can bow tank and even be slightly angled and not have to worry about them going through my cheek at these sorts of ranges. Now that shot is disgusting. 
as we reach out and smash that freaking Alaska, taking most of his hit points. Four penetrations in a citadel. Just disgusting. And you can see, even though these Richelieu and the, uh, the whatchamacallit, Amagi are shooting us, they're not doing much to us. We're angled pretty well. And so we're going to start reversing because I don't want a chance getting rammed by that freaking Richelieu. So I'm going to use the island to protect me from it. Now here, I was expecting this Alaska to be dead. Straight through the bow. We know we can punch him. We get one penetration. Really? Really, game? We're already up to 135,000 damage, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a thing. We're already up 130,000 damage. And uh, there's still plenty of enemies to go. And you can see, once again, I'm looking at shooting through the keyhole, but unfortunately, I'm not getting the, uh, the timing. I, d I didn't have the time to shoot him. Uh, so we go ahead, switch back to the Alaska, and uh, absolutely smash him this time, getting another uh, 11 to 12,000 damage off of him. And you can see, I'm considering reversing to shoot this Richelieu here. And, in fact, I probably should have. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have reversed and shot this Richelieu. Because I don't do that, I go forward, assuming that if I were, he was going to have his guns loaded and ready to shoot me. And I don't like giving my broadside to anything, let alone French magic bullets. So, uh, we, we definitely don't want to give the Yami's broadside to any battleship, especially at close range. Uh, you are guaranteed to be Citadel. And uh, same goes for the Alaska, really. I don't want to give my broadside to this Alaska. Uh, now, we're at 140,000 damage, basically 150. Uh, and right here, I'm considering just going straight out on this guy, but this Richelieu is just ruining my team. I don't know what happened, but they just got crumpled by this Richelieu and didn't even do any damage to the man. Like, the Richelieu still has the amount of hit points that he had just a moment ago, and he has taken out two members of my team. So, we're going to do what we can come around on this guy there's a battleship behind me that is just right on an island and then there's the destroyer that god only knows what he's doing uh but but this the battleship in in particular i'm like dude get off the island and cut this man off between the two of us this guy has no chance now i don't want to just rush around the corner because once again french magic bullets broadside yami doesn't go well okay we don't want to take that off, or that chance. Instead, we want to wait for him to fire, which you'll be able to hear it. And as soon as you hear him fire, you can see I'm uh, starting to worry that this Amagi came out a little sooner than I was expecting. So uh, we want to try to shoot him, but then again, we also want to shoot at this Richelieu. And the Richelieu had just fired, so we're going to try to pop out on him and see if we can't squeeze a shot. I know that it's unlikely to go, but I can't afford to go all the way around the corner. So I'm going to try to fit it through the gap again. I know it's unlikely, but if I can squeeze a couple rounds through, unfortunately it just doesn't happen. Uh, so Richelieu is off for my teammates to finish off. And it looks like our Shokaku is coming in with torpedoes and should be able to finish him off pretty easily. So down goes Richelieu. That's a big threat behind our team. Uh, we've got a Odin pushing up on our carrier, and this is just a testament to our carrier here. Dude did not pay attention or just did not think in advance. But uh, we take a shot over there at the uh, Odin. We've got 147,000 damage right now. So we'll see how much we end up with. I'm fairly confident it's a pretty solid hit. Uh, we get four penetrations. Yeah, we went from 147 to 168, doing over 20,000 damage to the man. Uh, so huge hit. That's going to soften him up quite a bit. If our carrier, our carrier is so much faster than him. All the carrier had to do was just turn and come to our direction. And he survives this man. But because he sits there, he's actually going to die. And uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. But uh, you can see we're, we're kind of caught in an interesting position. It's not the worst. We do get a Citadel with 21,000 damage on the Iowa there, bringing us up to 189,000 damage. But we're, we're battle tanking two enemies right now, and neither of them are going to really be able to do a whole lot to us. Our superstructure is already saturated, uh, so they're not going to have a whole lot of damage off of us. And uh, we wait for this Amagi to continue his turn. We wait and get a good shot here, getting a nice shot and destroying one of his guns and then uh, complete, well, destroying one of his guns and knocking out one of his guns temporarily. Uh, Iowa is getting some slight penetrations, but again, I'm angled pretty well. It's gonna be hard for either of these guys to do anything. And after I just removed most of his health, uh, the Iowa is going to be running away. And I'm going to focus this Amagi because he's super close. He's actually the biggest threat to me currently. So we take another shot, and that was absolutely gorgeous. 
So we managed to take him down. Now, right now, I'm a little bit concerned about the Odin. Um, I didn't pay attention at the time how much damage I hit the Odin for. So at this point, I'm assuming that the Odin is going to survive and get to the base. The enemy, or the friendly Shokaku has his uh, planes up trying to deal with the guy. You can see Shokaku is now officially running, but uh, it took him a little too long to do so. So he's going to get caught and I believe sunk. Yep, there he goes. Odin get Odin torped him at that. Torped him! What's that tell you about the, the carrier? I mean, come on, man. You've got great concealment. There is no reason that you should be spotted in a carrier um, unless you're being super aggressive and that guy was not being aggressive he just wasn't paying attention but you can see i'm looking at the odin odin is burning or flooding and he is he's taking fire so he's dead i'm not going to waste a shot on it instead i'm going to come over here to get into our base with or on get into the enemy base he's going to go down we know he's going down uh this destroyer next to me i i honestly have nothing i i don't know I really don't know. But uh, Iowa turns out a little bit, but I overestimate his speed and actually still end up overshooting him. And you can see we get like one overpin on the superstructure, like the very top, like we took out his radar or something. Like that was that was really high up. But we're at 229,000 damage done. We still got one full health carrier who just got spotted by my spotter plane. I start aiming and he disappears. Now I would normally take that shot, but I just figure, ah, eh, we'll hold on to it for a little longer. We're about to spot him anyway. There's no reason to rush the shot. It's not like this destroyer is going to kill him with his guns faster than I am. Uh, the other battleship went all the way back to defend the base, which was the absolute right move to do. And uh, you can see, uh, we finally get the Lexington spotted again. We aim, and he's angled really well to us. So even though we have 18-inch guns, we get really bad dispersion and uh, don't quite get to smash him here. And it's going to be hard to citadel him from here because of the fact that he's angled really well. We see the destroyer's getting his torpedoes out, which is no big surprise, right? The guy's not moving in his carrier. Pretty sure he was AFK the entire time. I don't think I actually saw him use his planes whatsoever. And so we take a shot with the front guns, and then as soon as we can get the rear guns involved, we're going to do that too. That was a much better shot by the Yami, uh, getting four penetrations that time. And we take another shot here, trying to finish him off. And... Uh, we take another 8,000 damage off of him with three more penetrations with the rear gun. Fletcher manages to finish him off, and that leaves just the enemy Iowa left. We've got 256,000 damage. The other battleship really may be in range, but he's not going to be as effective. I get a shot, and that dispersion will make you cry. <laughs> like, what was that? Come on, Yami. I understand you have imperfections in your castings for your barrels, but Jesus, man. Give me some accuracy. I, I know, I've got 258,000 damage, had ridiculous dispersion the entire game, and now I'm complaining about accuracy. I get it. But seriously, that, that last shot was disgustingly bad. But uh, this one's going to make up for it. We go right at the rear of his ship, and sure enough, go right through and get two penetrations, and he gets finished off by the friendly Shokaku, who managed to, after being dead, sink two more ships. So 266,000 damage, Confederate high caliber, top of the leaderboard with 3,000 base XP and a Yami. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.